Good morning and welcome to Karabert Len. I have a funny reason for being here. What you just saw is what I always see when I drive through this place. And somehow it always looked so authentic, friendly. And every time I tell myself, you have to go and explore there. But when I drive through this place, I always have to go to Mola and then I don't have the time. So this morning I jumped in the car and I drove here. And it's already a promising. Follow me out down to the bay. Great little place. Forget all the worries. I'm gonna have a good walk around here. There must be more. And there's a nice story attached to this village. I'll explain later. Wow, that's dangerous building, if any. Look at the stairs. There's a story attached to this place. I have to look it up. I keep forgetting his name. A certain Hussein Balchazadeh, who lived from 1854 to 1941. He actually founded this place. I mean, normally a village goes spontaneously because there's a water source or a river for trade and people just flock together. But this is actually created. The man built two schools and then later on he added 12 shops, two bakeries and two tea rooms. Unbelievable! And then, if that was not enough, everybody who settled here, he built them a house. Amazing. And this beautiful lady lives here. <laughs> and then I was tapped on the shoulder by two ladies who wanted to know what I was doing with this camera. And as soon as I explained that I just wanted to see old houses and all that kind of stuff, they just brought me to that old lady that's still living in the house. How fantastic is that? It's a gorgeous place. Just imagine, you're living somewhere on a mountain, alone, in your hut. Because it won't be more than a hut. And then you hear that if you go to this new place, you get a house. How fantastic. I mean, that's great. What a place. What a place. It just doesn't stop. I thought we had a few old houses in the village. They've got a lot more here. 
People were a lot shorter than I was. Look at the gate. <laughs> that is tiny. But this place has such a good vibe. Wow. Looks a little poor. Great little alley. Let's go in. Merhaba. Merhaba. Bu eski evler çok güzel ya. Evet. Çok beğendim. And again, some ladies wanted to know what my business was here. And you know, I can understand. Oh wow. But I've got permission to have a look at these houses. You see that? Oh. I wish somebody would restore it. Wow. What a find. Just look at the place. And there's one next door. There must be tons of them here. Oh God, I wish I was rich. I'd buy them all, do them up, make them into B&Bs, give the money back to the people. But this one is not even that old. It has a date on it, 1957. Go in. I hope the floor will hold. Yes. That was the kitchen. And here. Bedroom. The floor feels really dodgy. But I just have to go and look at it all. Beautiful. So we have an entry, more like a summer room or a winter room even with all that glass. The sun on it, nice and warm. Maybe a salon, kitchen, 
bedroom or the other way around. Wow! So happy I came here. But there's another one. No fireplace, but the windows are too nice to be from a barn. Look. Wow, wow. Floor's completely rotten. Don't know what that was. But wow. <laughs> and there's even another one there. There's hundreds in this village. Why do I whisper? Let's get out before they get nervous. how narrow these old streets were. I think it's time to find me a coffee. little wood fire, hot water on top. I remember when the butchers in Dalian looked like that. <laughs> Glad it changed a little. But then I was stopped by a man sitting in a tea garden. But after uh, one cup of tea, he got a little too friendly. So I'm legging it. They're definitely not used to visitors here. So yeah. But I just spotted some more old houses there. So I'm gonna check those out. The 
there's one up here. Doesn't look so good anymore, but I want to see it. Another one. Let's go there first. So a gate. I don't know. Some storage. A little driveway up. Some more storage. And the house. I wish I could take them, but I won't. Boy, I hope they have a plan to keep them all. So let's go in. Old steel bed, fireplace, oh, and a little suitcase. kitchen. Don't know if this is open. Old living room. Just love those doors. Look at this old table. <sighs> Buy a little house. Let's go to the next. This one's not so happy anymore, but it's the same idea as everywhere. How is this made? 
it looks like the walls were made of wood. And of course, here in the forest, they would have had wood enough. But that's strange. Let's have a closer look. seems to be stone and like bark from trees making the wall and then stucco it with mud I don't know but it's not safe to go in I think I'm gonna leave it at this. There must be more in this village. I think you can walk around here for hours on end and go from one surprise in the other. But I'm gonna call it a day. I'm so happy I stopped here. Finally, after all these years. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more.